Homeowners around the valley are changing to artificial turf to save money, but there is another alternative. Yes, Jared Rosequist from Valley Sod Farms is here to share all the info. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Thanks for having me, guys. Well, it's great to have you. So we're talking about an alternative. So what exactly are these and how is it different from regular sod? Absolutely. So my company spent the last five or so years trying to research and investigate what's going to be the best lawn alternative for the Vegas Valley. And these are the solutions that we've come up with. So all of these are going to provide a lot of the same benefits of grass and that, you know, they're going to help cool things down. They stay green all year. They're safe for kids and pets. Uh, they do great with our heat. But the major difference is just the water consumption. These are all going to use about half the water that grass does. And it's to the to the untrained eye, uh, like, you know, not us because we're grass experts and we're, mm. you know, of foliage course. experts. So we can see these, <laughs> but what, what are these and what are the different variations of them? Because, you know, people at home might think that's just, they're just pallets of grass, aren't they? What are they? So there are three different plants, actually. This one is called Dichondra. You guys can give them all a feel if you'd like. And they're all clovers, right? They are not. They're they, not, okay. They okay. Are, they're different species. So this is Dichondra. Dichondra. What kind of makes this one stand out is that it's going to be the most shade tolerant, and it seems to kind of be the aesthetic favorite. Speak up for my toes. Ooh. Without <laughs> this, the socks. I like this one. This one is called Carapia. Uh, it's going to spread out, fill in an area the fastest, and it's probably going to be the most drought tolerant of the options. And this one is called micro clover. So this was, okay. you're right on the clover micro here. Clover here, yeah. Uh, this one is totally immune to pet urine, so it's great for having animals. It's not going to get any yellow spots or die out because of anything like oh, that. Oh, that sounded that. Uh, it provides its own nitrogen, so a little less fertilization needed. Uh, and this one you can plant pretty much year round, and it's going to start to spread out as opposed to having you know a specific planting season. So as far as which one is best, it's really just kind of up to the customer. They're all wonderful options for Vegas, but you're just picking which one's best for your application. Yeah, and why should homeowners choose this as an option over like an artificial turf or rocks or anything of that nature? Great question. So I'm, I've got a threefold answer for you. Uh, one I, I would submit is temperature, right? Those other options are just super hot. So if it's 104 degrees in Vegas, uh, those rocks are going to be around 160 degrees. And the artificial turf, why don't, why don't you guys guess for me how hot do you think the artificial is going to be? Oh. Higher. <laughs> it's close-ish. <laughs> the artificial is going to be somewhere between 170, 185 Ooh, no. degrees. Oh my goodness. So apart from just being Burning like your skin. super yeah. uncomfortable to be on or around, uh, when you get those kind of heat, you also start to run the risk of it damaging other vegetation around. So your trees, other plants, you know, so that's an issue. Yeah. Uh, two, I would say, is the environment. Uh, there's lots of studies now that say the artificial turf is linked to cancer. They make that stuff with PFAS and carcinogens and forever chemicals, all of which leach out in extreme heat, which we kind of have a plethora of. Yeah. Uh, and the, the third reason, is, I would say, is the Southern Nevada Water Authority Water Smart Landscaping Rebate. It's kind of a, kind of a long name there. But the SNWA gives a rebate when you take out your grass. And a lot of people, they say, well, I want to help out with the drought. So my options are rocks or artificial, but these plants are all drought tolerant enough that they qualify for that same rebate. Yeah, oh, wow. one, okay. one thing I was gonna ask is that you kind of touched a little bit upon it when you, when you were talking about it earlier, but, but very briefly, maintenance. People, people with regular lawns, they're watering it, they need to trim it. If, it. if it starts getting burnt and dies, they have to buy more sod and replace it. What is the all-round maintenance like with this? You kind of touched on the, the, the lesser amount of water you need to use to keep this maintained. What about everything else like trimming, maintenance, upkeep, all those kind of things? Yeah, in those other aspects, I think it's also an improvement. It kind of depends on the look that you're after. So if you're going for more of a manicured lawn mm -hmm. look, uh, these ones are kind of that, that look where it's, cool. it's down tight and you've trained it. You're going to mow it maybe once a month, oh, once wow. every six weeks instead to get this look. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have a lot of customers that they kind of want that wild look. They like kind of a, a fairy garden experience instead of a nice fancy lawn. Um, so if you That's don't true. mow it at all, this is going to get, you know, all of these will perform similar. They're going to get four or five inches tall. If you don't mow it, you kind of get this lush full. I want to find a four leaf in here at some point. We are going to try and find a four leaf. <laughs> yes, but Jared, thank you yeah, so much one. for joining us this morning. This has been so insightful. Valley Sod Farms are providing alternative answers to traditional lawns, and you can find out all the info you need by visiting their website at valleysod.com.